गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स माय नेम इज मनदीप कौर फ्रॉम कैलिफोर्निया पब्लिक स्कूल होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर फाइन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट टू डेज टॉपिक वी आर डूइंग द सिक्सटीन चैप्टर द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज द सर्कल एंड वी ऑलरेडी हैव डिस्कस इज फर्स्ट फोर क्वेश्चन एंड द फिफ्थ वन इज फिलिंग द ब्लैंक सो यू हैव टू ट्राई इट यूर सेल्फ एंड आफ्टरवर्ड्स आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द सिक्स क्वेश्चन ऑफ एक्सरसाइज सिक्सटीन पॉइंट वन सो हेर इज एक्सरसाइज सिक्सटीन पॉइंट वन So today I'm going to start from the sixth question. Now, what is the statement of the sixth question? Name the codes in the figure below. Name the codes. Name the codes. So here is the figure given. Here is a circle, and here is the center. Here is the diameter. and its points are here is a here is point b and here is point c the center point is o and here is ac okay now listen so here we have to find out the name of the codes what are the codes so firstly i will explain what are the codes so let us suppose here we have a circle here we have a circle now what is the code a line segment connecting With two points on the circumference. So here is a circle. Here is a two point. Let us suppose there are the two points on the circumference. Connecting with two points. Here is the line segment. Connecting with two points on the circumference of circle is called the chord of the circle. So that is called the chord. Or it may be in this side also. Let us suppose here is point C. Here is point D. that is also the code of circle so let us suppose here we have e point here is f point that is also the code of the circle or we can say that here is our circle so here is the center and that is also that means the diameter is also the code of the circle and diameter is the longest code of the circle because that, because that also touches the two points on the circumference because that touches on the two points on the circumference so a line segment which touches the two points connecting or we can say the connecting with the two points on the circumference of the circle is called the chord of the circle so the longest diameter of the sorry the diameter is the longest chord of a circle so now look this figure so here we have to find out the name of the chords so ab is the chord because that is connected with the two points on the circumference so first one is a b secondly here are the two points on the circumference here is the first point and here is the second point that means ac is also the chord of the circle because that is also connected with the two points on the circumference of the circle so that means ac is also the chord of the circle now look this one oc that is not a chord that is a radius because that touches the center to the circumference so that is the radius one so oc is the radius and what are the chords ab is a chord and secondly ac is a chord of circle now come to the next question of this worksheet okay now The next question of this worksheet is name the major and the minor arcs formed by the points x and y on the circle. Here are the two points on the circle. We have to find out the major and the minor arcs. Here is x and y. Here is x and here is y given. So what are the major and the minor arcs? So firstly, I am going to explain the minor arcs. So the shortest distance between the two points on the circumference of the circle that lies on the circumference of circle. So look here are the point x and y. These are on the circumference of circle, and here is the shortest distance between them, and that is the longer distance from x to y. We have to see only x and y. So just concentrate on the points only x and y. So the shortest distance from x to y is called the minor arc. So that is our minor arc. So shortest distance between the two points. on the circumference of circle that is called the minor arc so that is the shortest distance from x to y so that is our minor arc minor arc so what is our minor arc minor arc that is 
x y so that is our shortest one now look here we have to find out the major arc so distance here is the shortest one and here we have to see the longest one for the major we have to see the longest distance between the two points on the circumference so here are the two points on the circumference because x and y it is written here so we have to concentrate on the points x and y so that is our major distance or we can say the longest distance so this distance from this to this x y that is called our major arc and here is the point a lies on it or we can say that x a y is our major arc so what is our major arc major arc so that is x a y x a y so i'm going to explain it again for the minor arc that is the shortest distance the point that lies on the circumference of the circle the shortest distance so here is the shortest one and here is x and y and that is the longest one that is the longest one so in the major arc you have to see the longest one and for the minor you have to see the shortest one so what is our major arc here is x that points also lies on the circumference so we can say x a y is our major arc and x y that is our minor arc now come to the next question of this worksheet okay now the next question is identify the name the major and the minor segments here are the segments so in the previous one we have discussed about the arcs major arc and the minor arc so here we have the segments so identify the name the major and the minor segments in the following figure so here is the figure given so what are the major and the minor segments so first we look this figure so what are the segments here is a line segment that divides the circle into two portions here is a line segment that divide this circle into two parts so that smaller part is called the minor segment so this one is called its minor segment and this major part of the circle is called its major segment major segment so when a line segment divided the circle into the two parts this shortest part or we can say that this shortest region is called the minor segment and this bigger one is called the minor uh, major segment so again i am going to explain like this one so here is our code a b and here is the point lies on the circumference and here is the point lies on the circumference that is point d so that one that is called our minor segment so that shaded portion is our minor segment or we can write like this a c b so that one is a c b so what is our minor segment minor segment that is a c b a c b so again i am going to draw this draw this figure so here is our center of the circle so it's not here so i am going to draw this one so here is point c here is ab and here is point d so this one is our major segment so this portion is our major segment or we can say that a b d or we can write like this one is also a d b so what is our major segment major segment that is a d b so when a line segment divide the circle into two parts the smaller region is called the minor one and the bigger region is called the major segment now come to the next question of this worksheet okay now the next question is name the major and the minor sectors here are the sectors so in the previous question we have the segments and here is the sector so we have to identify the major and the minor sector of the circle in this figure so what are the sectors so let us suppose here we have a circle that is its center o and that is the radius that is the radius one so i'm going to write here the points a and b so area enclosed by the radius of circle this smaller one is called the minor sector minor 
sector. So area enclosed with the two radius. Here are the two radius O, O A and O B. So when the area enclosed with the, the radius, the smaller one is called the minor sector. And this bigger one is called the major sector. Major sector. Major sector. So look again. So here is the center. These are the radius one. So always when we are going to find out the minor sector or the major sector, we have to see the radius one firstly. Because we have to see the area enclosed with the two radius. So here are the two radius and area enclosed with the smaller one is called its minor and the bigger one is called its major sectors. So now look this figure. So here we have to write down the minor and the major sectors. So look here is first sector. Here are the two radius. Here are the two radius. BF, BC is the radius. And this one is called our minor sector. That is also our minor sector. So here is two radius and that is also minor sector. And this one is the big portion. So that is called the major sector. So we can say that FCB or we can say BFC. So FCB and C. D, B, C, D, B, that are our minor sector, minor sectors, okay. Now for the major, that is our bigger portion. So what is the major? That is F, A, D, F, A, D or we can say that for connecting with all these points, B, F, A, D. So what is our major sector? That is B, F, A, D. So you have to write down all the points. B, F, A, D. That is our major sector. So I am going to repeat it again. For the minor sector, area enclosed with the radius. For the shortest one, that means the smaller one is our minor. And the bigger one is our major sector. So here is our minor, uh, minor reason. That is also minor. That means the smaller one. So here is you have to write down the point C, F, B, B, F, C. In any way you can write down. In the similar way you can write B, C, D, C, D, B. In any way you can write down. And for this bigger portion that is our major. And you have to write down all these points. From this to this. So that is our, that is our major segment. So you have to write down all the points. So B, F, A, D. Or we can write out D, A, F, B. So anyway, you can write down. So that is the last question of this worksheet. Hope so that all of you have been clear about all the concept of the circle. So tomorrow we will start the next worksheet of this chapter. So thank you so much everyone.